Hey guys, I'm uh, quickly going to summarize how to install the Nest on a uh, Valiant 824 Eco Plus Combi Boiler, Ecotech Plus 824 Combi Boiler. So I took the front off, there's one screw on the bottom, um, it's pretty simple when I have two little clips. Um, then this folds down, you take that little cover off. Um, and I did this before I actually switched over from a um, what was it? Uh, a Drayton Weiser um, smart thermostat to this one because I did not very much like the app. So um, all you need to do is uh, you need to run um, the cable from from the live and the neutral, and then this two thirty volt RT. So um, essentially, just three cables. I actually had five, so I also ran the um, the Earth over as well. So I just took that from the same thing. And then I had a fifth one here that I uh, thought I needed for the other one and it didn't end up using. The wiring ends up being about the same for the Ness. Um, so essentially, if you recall the colors, um, neutral to neutral, live to live, then live is bridged into two, as you can see. Um, and then that RT uh, goes into this three and uh, kind of matches exactly the diagram here for the Ness. Um, so I have not actually tried this yet, so I'm going to try this now and um, then let you know the next. All right, so I've also installed a uh, backroom plate that I got from Amazon to match. I have a copper um, nest and I plugged it in because I am, uh, there's no resistant wiring. It was a wireless thermostat that I had before, so I needed to have power. So I haven't done this yet, so this will be the first time that it goes on. So it basically just clips on pretty cleanly actually. Um, so yeah, it's unfortunate we have to have that little wire there, but really I put a little copper thing on top of it to cover it, but overall it looks quite good. So now you can see that has power and it's just starting up. Um, I already set up the app. Um, uh, I've also turned the power back on, on this bad boy. And uh, there's nothing happening with the heater. You can see that there's a blue light on here. So I think uh, I'll follow the instructions on the app and then make sure this all works. Okay, so just wanted to uh, confirm everything seems to have worked perfectly. So here you can see the uh, boiler is off, uh, nothing's going. Um, here's the app. If I go into the app and I turn up the heat, it's already quite warm. Then, let's see, there we go. I hear that click, it turned on 78. Hear that, now the uh, little sign for the uh, radiators is on here. Wasn't on there before. And that's orange, indicating heating. That's uh, green, it's always green, but you hear the little click from it. And then if we go in here, uh, you can see, it's actually quite cool, the screen turns on when you uh, when you get near something. Then if I go there, it goes black. You can hear that that's also gray. Yeah, it's actually much, much nicer than the wiser controller. And then if you clip on here, you can see that um, there is no more radiator sign there. So yeah, everything's working perfectly as expected. Um, uh, spoiler, I've been running for about a year and a half almost now. Um, just hadn't posted a video on it. Um, but it's great. I like it a lot more than the, the wiser. Um, but you cannot uh, do the radiator thermostats um, with the Nest. So that's the big difference. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Bye.